Welcome to Salcedo Paranormal. It is Thursday, December 1st, 2022. And tonight I will be covering paranormal news. As always, you can find all the episodes of the show, along with links to social media and other ways to contact me, at the podcast page. And that is salcedoparanormal.podbean.com. That's S A L S I D O Paranormal dot podbean dot com always happy to hear from you all whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences whether they're your own or from others that you trust happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them and um so this is the last show for this week technically um and again next week starting with sunday i'm going to do shows uh, a little bit, well, really, it's technically it's early, so, um, or late, depending on, depending on how you want to look at it, but, um, I'm going to move the show to the, the early, very early, almost like nighttime, early morning, um, it'll be 1 a.m. Eastern, uh, just to see if I like doing the show later better, I'm gonna try that for a week, so that'll start on the next show will basically be at 1 a.m. on Sunday morning. And we'll try that for a week. And um, if it does work better for me, I may stick to that. And we'll go from there. Um, I know that's not going to work for everyone. But that's why the podcast is there. So, on the YouTube channel. So, um, thank you all for, for listening and being here as always, too. And if you can't make it to those streams because they're at a different time, I completely understand. There's no worries either way. Just, um, I feel like it might work better for me because I am such a night person that sometimes even at 7.30 at night, I'm still not really ready to, I don't feel ready to start yet. <laughs> so, um, excuse me. So, yeah, I'm going to try that for a week uh, and see how it goes. But, uh. I think that's everything I have to talk about as far as, um, I guess you could call it housekeeping. But, uh, so I guess I can get onto the stories here. I have put them in the stream chat channel. And, of course, I will include them in the episode description for the podcast and YouTube feeds. So you can check them out um, and read them and look at the pictures and videos um, yourselves. So. Uh, I'll just be kind of summarizing them tonight, as I usually do. So um, so with that, I think now I can get to these articles here. And um, this one is from msn.com, so mainstream kind of website here. Um, and this is, uh, let me see here. This website here, MSN, does not support the immersive reader option, so that's kind of a pain. But the title is, let's see here, it says, um, is everyone just ignoring this giant UFO? So this is a sighting. Um, this article came out on November 20th, so almost about 10 days ago, 11 days ago. And um, so this is about a sighting of um another uh, ufo over in in florida we had that one last um the last news show about a sighting down there as well um so this is from a witness who was driving and immediately pulled over on the side of the road because she saw this um what appeared to be a giant flying saucer with lights around the rim. It says that she zoomed in and the craft was clearly visible over the tree line. Um, and apparently no one else is stopping or seeing what... Uh, or stopping for what appears to be a UFO. Now, um, the only other thing I can think of is maybe people, if they do see it, Maybe they're assuming it's some kind of a Hollywood thing or, or a government thing. Maybe that's why. 
Um, but uh, it's really, really, uh, really odd in a way. If if, the, if that's not the case, then um, then that is odd. Also, apparently, as this uh, witness had the camera on the UFO, it said that there was a loud, a loud boom heard um, the previous day, apparently, around 5 a.m. Uh, in the in the general area of Jacksonville and Orlando, which people claim apparently um, it was a spaceship that landed after being in in uh, secretly in orbit for many days over a couple of years. Um, I don't know where this uh, if there's any kind of how you can figure this out just by a, a sound, but. Um, it does seem like people are really interested in these, uh, whatever these are, these things that are seen in the sky. And, um, and of course, they have their own theories about what they are. But it is odd the way that, apparently, according to this witness, no one else was stopping to look at this thing. And um, so I don't know. They have a link to the video, so you can check that out for yourselves. Um, they have a, uh, I'm guessing it is a, uh, just a stock image of a UFO in the in the the heading of the article here. I don't think it says. Let me check. It doesn't really say that the, the image that they use is actually the image that is was captured. But um, still a neat sighting. If that was indeed something not from Hollywood or or any kind of government. Um, so I wanted to share that. So that's the first article here. Um. But, uh, yeah, so that's the first one. I have two, um, I have one other UFO story here. And then we'll get to some other, um, ghostly or paranormal and spiritual sightings, possibly. So, this next one is from, uh, I saw it in a couple of different websites, but this is from technotrends.com. Techno and then T-R-E-N-Z, T-R-E-N-Z dot com. If I can see it, talk right, that'd be good. And this says, as the uh, tadpole-shaped UFO, it basically says, tears up the sky, uh, shocked onlookers are left in awe of mysterious objects. So this is apparently in China. And um, apparently, i got to reverse the colors in this thing. There we go. Um, this object is seen flying across the sky in a video at night over a body of water. There's your water again. Um, and apparently the object was um, bright white light, basically or a bright white color. And it, as it gets bigger, it leaves a trail behind. And um, so that is odd. Apparently some people claim that it's it uh, resembles a tadpole because of this trail. Um, and so let's see here. Talks about re re um, reactions on social media, about the argument, of course, of what that could have been. Um, apparently, there are some people that claim it was a rocket launch. So that's um, possible, def definitely. But... Um, but still, if it's not, then that's an amazing sighting there. So it doesn't really go into details exactly on where it is in China, but uh, still possibly an interesting um, thing to see there. So um, that's all I have for that one. And as I said, the rest of these are more um, ghostly kind of apparition kind of things and just general paranormal activity. So this next one is from dailystar.co.uk. And this one says, Chilling moment, ghost patient walks through hospital doors after dying. So this is an odd story here, but it sort of, if you think of hospitals, it could make sense in a way. Um, it says that hospital staff and social media Users were left stunned and spooked with a spine-chilling video 
reportedly showing a patient who died the day before entering a hospital. So, um, apparently, they, uh, there's footage of this as well. So it shows that the security guard there welcomes a patient and leads them to the doctor's office for their appointment. But then when looking back at the footage, the patient is identified as someone that had passed away the day before. Um, it says that hours after um, talking to the patient, the receptionist got up to check where where she had, the patient had gone. And um, the the um, they couldn't find anyone. And they said that the only patient with, the, with that same name as the one that had walked in had passed away the day before. This is a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And um, so they repeat themselves a lot in this article here. But anyway, so it says not only did the security guard let this patient in, she was an elder, elderly woman, says that he can also be seen talking with the visitor and offering them a wheelchair before they apparently decide to go to the op doctor's office. So, um, that's an odd thing. If, if the, the guy didn't even know, or the guy didn't even know. And, uh, so when they, and so the, she, he led them, the, the patient, this woman, to this doctor's office, and then when they went to check on her later on, they, uh, they didn't find anyone. So, um, says here that, um, let's see here. They're talking about possibilities as to it not being paranormal here. So, so they're saying that there was a separate thing here, apparently. Uh, sighting of a door opening by itself. But they're saying that's because it was broken. Still, I don't understand how, regardless of the door, if they, uh, there's still the sighting of this patient that had passed. Um, says that maybe that the, uh, the, um, the witness, the, uh, security guard, um, faked it, but, uh, but the, let's see here. Yeah, so there's there's no explanation for this whole thing, really. Except for people saying it's possibly a hoax, including a spokesperson for the medical facility there. But um, if that's not the case, then if there was this real sighting, then that's really amazing. And I don't really doubt that that can happen. So, interesting story, if nothing else. And um, I know for a fact that Hospitals can have a lot of activity in them. Um, I've been to a couple, and I think I've said this before. Even though nothing really happened, I still felt like the place was crowded. All the hallways, the room I happened to be in for a little while, everything felt like there was just tons of people there that you just could not see, but they were just there. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't evil, just like there was just a lot more people there than you could actually, you were actually seeing with your eyes or hearing. But there's just the sense of so many people there. So um, it wouldn't surprise me if something like that did happen or at least could happen. So neat story there. And um, let's see here. So this next one is about a, uh, a pub, basically a bar. Um, this says, this is from, sorry, this is from CornwallLive.com. Oh, not .com. Oh, yeah, it is .com. I always get those mixed up. Anyway, this says, inside the haunted pub tucked away on the quiet side of the, and I've never, I've never heard of this before. This is called the Lou River? I'm not sure. L-O-O-E River. Um... And this is the place, this place is called the Jolly Sailor Inn. Apparently it's been there for over 500 years. 
<coughs> Excuse me. And that is amazing. That's um that's a lot of time. That's that's really amazing. So it says according to local legends, there are um over two dozen haunted pubs. Uh, it says that um shadow figures have been seen in many of these places and um and this in there this this pub is just one of them that they're talking about in this article here it says it was established in 1516 and it's of course the locals call it the just the jo they just call it the jolly which is interesting um and it's the oldest pub in the area and one of the oldest in Cornwall and um let's see here so there have been pictures that have been uh they're on the walls of just the history of the place and um so let's see here the place has been kept as much as possible to um to the the original uh details of the building and um let's see here Apparently the main beam in the bar, I'm guessing they mean like a support beam, I don't know. It was taken from a ship of the line at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805 named HMS Indefatigable. That's quite the name. Uh, and then when it was the ship was eventually broken up, that's where the beam came from. Um, so that's quite, a, that's really amazing. There's some history before the building was even complete. So, but, um, and let's see here. It's talking about, it goes into the paranormal things here now. It talks about staff members, um, have had experiences. So that's, that's always interesting. Uh, it says that. There's um, apparently a uh, objects being moved, uh, pushed off tables, uh, glasses basically being pushed off tables and flying off the cabinet behind the bar, uh, locked doors swinging open at midnight. Um, so apparently these are videos of these things. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, let's see here what else they talk about says that the owner at first the current owner i'm guessing at first was skeptical but um and tried to come up with logical explanations but with all the activity going on there he's starting to believe everything that that's possible that this could be something other than that um says that there are many stories of um ghosts there and says uh of course there's always some skepticism there but, uh, yeah, so it just sounds like there's activity there, and it's caught on camera, which is amazing. So, um, just a neat, neat, uh, these, these places, these articles about these, um, these bars, because if you think about it, bars and restaurants, they're kind of similar in a way to, like, hotels and hospitals, and that there's people that are just coming and going. Um, and the bit, the bigger, the busy, the more popular the place is the more there's going to be of that so that's a lot of energy coming in and out and just possibly staying in and um that could lead to some things going on there so um so i think we want to move on from that one i have one more story here and uh talking about places that could also have energy this next one is about a um a cemetery and this is in uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is from KOOL1079.com. Uh, so I'm guessing it's cool1079.com. And uh, this one says, This Colorado Springs Cemetery is famous for creepy occurrences. Cemeteries to me are always... Um, uh, fascinating to look into because you hear so much about 
this one is has a really peaceful feeling. There's there's nothing going on there. And then you hear about others where it's ominous, and then you hear about others where people don't feel anything. So I really think that there's I don't know that there's something that is specifically about cemeteries that has to lead to paranormal activity. But there are plenty of them that where that is reported. So um this is uh this is apparently in El Paso County and this is Evergreen Cemetery apparently it's been featured on um different TV shows and uh <clears throat> people have claimed having experiences there let's see here so it says that more than 90,000 people are buried beneath the 220 acres of the cemetery. Um, and uh, so let's see here. I gotta scroll down to get to, okay, there we go. Um, so I think I've already kind of go, gone over enough of the history. Um, there's more to it though, if you wanna look into the article for more details. Um, but it says that most of the paranormal things that happen uh, um, take place inside a historic chapel that's on site. Um, it says that there are many strange noises reported there, but also sightings as well. Uh, dark figures, so probably shadow figure, I'm guessing they mean usually near the Casket lifting device, that's odd. And by the staircase. Um, says that two different times, um, people had two, two different women there that were visiting separate times had similar experiences where they reported feeling a cold blast of negativity going through them while going down the stairs. Um, so that's odd. I'm guessing that can happen in any location where people have have to deal with the um, the details of a loved one that has passed. There can be just all kinds of energy going on in there. It says according to cemetery staff, uh, during multiple nighttime tours, guests have seen a flying figure hovering over a group of tombstones. That's really amazing. Oh, wow. Here we go. It says that this it's cat-like. And it's said to be approximately five feet in length. And its body does not touch the ground. So I wonder if we're talking about some kind of giant ghost cat here. That's really amazing. Uh, it says that um, other reports there. Uh, Tried to get, um, they brought some equipment there to try to get um, better sense of the paranormal there. They brought one of those um, EMF meters, basically, and uh, found extra energy near the stairwell. Now, I'm wondering, though, about that, if um, there's any kind of electronics near the stairwell and that the, the technology, like the, the machinery there that's used in the cemetery. Um, that could be, that could explain that. So, um, let's see here. Looking at, so apparently there are reports even, um, while filming for different TV shows and for one where this was, place was featured, there was a wooden crypt door that opened on its own while filming. There was no wind present to make the door open. And then it closed by itself as well. So that's amazing. It's caught on camera. Um, although that doesn't necessarily mean it could have been faked, but it does seem like there's other reports of activity there, so it could be that it was real. Um, so yeah, the neat article here. It goes into more detail. Um, let's see here. Well, I guess that's it. That's it through that uh, for that article there.
it starts another one below that. So um, very neat reports of activity going on there. And uh, obviously I never, um, I never promote just going into a place at random. Always check on when you're looking into visiting a location that's said to be haunted. Make sure it's open to the public and be respectful. It's, um, because that's important. That's one thing I have against um, certain things I see online on TV and or just reports of tours or sometimes you'll hear about people just basically demanding paranormal activity to just happen on cue. And if you're talking to, to sentient beings, that's not very polite. So, And then again, just no trespassing because that can be dangerous for any number of reasons. So just like to throw that out there every once in a while, just to keep in mind. I know most people, I'm sure that listen to the show, they're aware of that. But uh, um, so yeah, that's it for the articles for today. Um, and I'll be back on Sunday again, um, early Sunday morning. So it'll be almost like Saturday night, but Sunday morning at 1 a.m. Eastern is when the next show will be. Gonna try that new time time slot for a week and if i like it then i'll keep it and if not then we'll go back to the um, the regular one that i've been doing here now for a little while so um thank you all for listening and i will talk to you all on sunday on the next episode of salcedo paranormal take care everyone <laughs>